Hey guys, it's Lydia. This blog's going to be really useful for you if you are in your first year of business and maybe tearing your hair out a little, finding it a little bit difficult. Because this is something that was shared with me when I was in my first year of business and I just found it so useful. It brought so much comfort with it when I was at a point of tearing my hair out. So I hope it brings some comfort for you as well. Now this is a comparison. So this is a comparison between your business being like a baby, basically. When you start a business, it's like becoming a mother, but a mother to your business. And let's say in the first year, when your business is a newborn, it's just like a newborn baby. It requires 24 hour attention. You put all your focus into it and you're excited, like you've got this new thing, you're really excited, but it doesn't give you so much back. You know, it can't tell you what's wrong with it. And so all these problems and these new things, you're learning how to, you know, write blogs, you're learning how to set up a website, you're learning how to ask for money for your services. It's like all these new things with a baby, changing a diaper, feeding it, figuring out whether it needs burping, you know, all these new things that maybe you haven't experienced before. But you've got all this excitement and this energy for it, so it's okay. Then as it starts to go into the second year, you'll find, you know, it, it, can, it can walk and talk a little. It's starting to get its personality. And that means that you've really started to understand what your message is, what your business is all about, who you are in your business. And so your business's personality is starting to show. But it still can't tie its shoelaces and maybe it still can't feed itself, you know. So there's, it still requires a lot of your attention and focus. And now that you know you're, you're a year into it and coming up to two years You've put a lot of energy in at this point. And so the excitement of the newborn that had arrived can start to, to wear off and it's going into its terrible twos. <laughs> so I don't know if you've got any friends that have got children that are two, but they don't stop, you know. They're into everything. They're a little bit defiant, a bit cheeky. And so it still requires... A lot of your a lot of your attention and focus, but slightly differently. It's not um, system building as much. It's now really getting it out there, putting yourself out there. It wants to be into everything, and this is also part of an entrepreneurial spirit. As you come into the third year, it's it's able to communicate with you a little bit better. You understand it. You know its weak spots, its strengths what it loves, what it doesn't love, where it wants to be, what it does, where it doesn't want to be. And so you start to get a bit more time back because you've got a really good relationship with your business now. Good news is it starts to get easier, basically. It's starting to get a lot easier. You're used to it, you know, as well. You've had three years of parenting this business. You're starting to get a bit more used to having this new thing in your life. Then let's jump a few years, you know it gets into five or six years, I'm not there yet but I have friends that are and this is where it totally knows itself, it can handle itself, it can tie its shoelaces, you know it goes off to school, you can leave it for a holiday, hopefully you can go on holiday before that but go away and not really worry about it, maybe it's making money in, it, in its sleep, again that can also happen earlier. And potentially, you know, as it gets older and older into 10 years, 15 years, that's when it can leave home maybe. Maybe you can sell it, sell your business. But most vitally is understanding that in the first year, it does require a lot of your focus. And, and if you feel like you're tearing your hair out, that's potentially why. And as most new mums will probably say is you learn so much about yourself. It's going to teach you all of your blocks and you have to overcome so much stuff within you to become this incredible business owner. So wherever you are, you're doing a great job. You know, if it was really, really easy, everyone would do, be doing it. Sometimes the hardest things are, are the most rewarding. So enjoy it and after 
at least definitely in your third year it starts to get a lot lot easier in my experience anyway I'd love to hear your thoughts let me know below and as always this is the last day for voting so I am a finalist in psychologies and Hay House's search for a new wise voice if this blog has helped you at all please click the vote up button below this video